We are getting into a quick mini assignment for our computer animation class. We're going to be animating a lightsaber. So the things we're going to be going over is um, using classic tweens, also creating two parts that are going to rotate and move together as one, also creating this kind of glowing effect um, around the lightsaber. Um, we have some properties that we can apply to movie clips, and that's what we're going to be going over in this little mini lesson. So um, to start off, We'll go ahead and start a new document. We're working action script three. Say A OK. We're going to start by having two layers in this project. We're going to want one to be the handle of the lightsaber and number two to be the blade. All right, now to draw the handle, um, the shape we're going to use is we're just going to actually use our pen tool. And the shape we're going to draw is like a flashlight. There we go. And once you kind of get your shape good, we can zoom in and kind of adjust the placement of some of these anchor points here. And maybe make this so it's flat. There we go. All right, nice. That works pretty well. Um, I'll select the whole thing change the color of my outline here to maybe a dark gray and add a fill color of light gray with my paint bucket there and um, actually what I want this to be is a gradient so I'm going to go over to my color mixer here and I'm going to go down to linear gradient oh, and I had that for my outline so instead I want to select our uh, fill color and then go over to our color palette and choose linear gradient. All right, so let's see, there we go. Now it's filled there. And uh, what we'll wanna do is rotate that. So we're gonna take our gradient transform tool and we are going to take that gradient, oops, I lost sight of it there. There we go. I'm gonna rotate this so our gradient's going uh, up and down here. And we'll say okay. Um, now, right now, I have this very large, um, just working on it large for now so I can see more of the details and then I'll get into uh, making it a little bit smaller later on. I might go ahead and adjust this, oops, adjust this shape just a tad here because I think it is a bit big. And maybe move this corner up, there we go. Cool. Uh, so that works. Um, the other thing I could do is we could take the end of this and kind of curve it a little bit. And then I'm going to draw some other small details in here really quick. So I'm going to add a couple buttons. All right, there's one. Um, what I want to do with this shape actually is I will um, select the outline as well. I want the outline to be a solid gray. And then the uh, fill color we'll actually use the radial gradient for this one. So instead of linear gradient, we'll go with radial. So that's a circular gradient. Um, and we could also maybe flip these colors around, see how they look. Um, that way, I think, is more like what I was thinking. All right, so there we got a button on there. Um, we could add more buttons and details to the grips. Um, you know, maybe a second one. Here could be smaller. Um, let's see, we could also add possibly some kind of like a gripping to this as well. Just kind of using gradients to fill them up. All right, and that pretty much does it for a good handle. I might just take this whole thing and select it and then use my free transform tool. All right, and kind of take this and just kind of make it a little skinnier and a little bit smaller. All right, so that looks pretty good for what I need it to be. Um, made my circles a little more into ovals, but that's okay. I think that looks, still looks pretty good. Um, all right, so that does it for our handle part. Now what we're gonna wanna do is go on to our blade. And uh, for this, we're gonna use not our rectangle tool, but our rectangle primitive tool. And so. We'll go over what that means in a second, but basically we're going to draw a big old shape here. 
Um, make sure you're on your blade layer right now. All right, and I'm gonna lock my hand layer just to kind of keep it in place. Um, and what we are gonna be able to do with this shape, I'm just gonna stretch it out a little bit larger. Um, we're gonna animate this backwards. In, order to, in other words, we're gonna draw the, uh, the blade fully uh, extend it and then animate it going smaller or smaller to larger rather okay so uh, what we can do with this tool is you'll see uh, when we have this selected on the side here we got some options that we don't normally have and what we need to do is actually click inside of this rectangle corner radius box and we want to make that radius I can't remember I think maybe 40 let's see how that goes okay so see how it's curved our edge there Maybe let's try and up it to 50 and see what that does. Okay, so that looks pretty good as far as the angle that we want. Um, the other thing we're going to do is also change the colors on this. Okay, so I'm going to make maybe this one um, a blue color. And so for my fill, I'll actually want it to be um, a gradient. Okay, so we're going to take this um, and make it a linear gradient and instead of black I'm going to use a blue color I'm going to pull the white to the middle and I'm going to add another swatch to this by just clicking below it alright so we've got two of a color and white in the middle um, now I'm going to just take that and rotate that gradient again by using my gradient transform tool all right, so now that I've got this vertical, now I want to take these edges and pull them in from the middle until this has kind of the beam uh, look that I'm going for here out of a lightsaber. Awesome. So uh, now we have both of our pieces pretty much in place. Um, we could always, a uh, good idea to um, convert these into graphics once we're at this point. So the handle, I'm going to press F8 and I'm going to turn this into a, a graphic. All right, and we'll call this handle and say A-OK. -OK. Now next we'll select our blade keyframe, our blade layer here. And we're going to press F8 and what we're going to do is actually convert this to a movie clip. Okay, that's really key here is to convert it to a movie clip. We'll call that blade. Um, because movie clips, what we can do is add properties to them. And that's how we get the glow effect. So um, if I look over here, you see that, um, in our sidebar, if I've got this movie clip selected, you've got properties and there's a, a plus sign right above that. It's actually in filters. So if we're looking in filters, we click this down arrow. We want to click on the plus side and add. We've got a few different effects we can add and the glow effect right here is what we're looking for. Now we can change the color to any color. Um, maybe I'll go with this bluish green, greenish blue. Um, we'll turn the quality up to high and we'll take this uh, strength and let's turn it up and see what happens. Okay, so it's getting darker. We can see that, but what I want is more distance. There we go. So what we do is change the X or Y, and maybe right there about nine, that gives me a good amount of glow. Um, and maybe I can, I can pump up the strength just a little bit. 150 seems like a pretty good mark. All right, now, awesome. So now we've got our glowing lightsaber um, and handle. The next thing that we can do is actually take this blade layer and pull it below the handle layer. That way, the end of it looks like it's really going into or coming out of the handle. Um, something I'm going to take a second to do now is actually change the color of my stage because I'm noticing that the color of the stage is white. And that's not allowing my lightsaber to stand out very well. So I'm going to make it um, maybe this dark bluish type color so that it really you can really sense or get a better uh, image of the glow, okay? Or maybe this kind of dark gray. I think I like, oh, that's a nice dark green, cool. All right, so let's keep this uh, project going here. So next thing I'm gonna do is actually, you know, just looking at the uh, blade, it looks like it could be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to use oh, my free transform tool hiding under here. I'm just gonna stretch this out a tad and then, I'm going to move it down 
Awesome. So that looks like a little bit more appropriate, like a length uh, for the lightsaber to be. Um, next thing we were going to do is we need to animate um, this blade actually protruding from the handle. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open up our timeline now a few frames. So we're going to open up to 50. So I'm just going to click and select um, these two frames here and press F5 to open up that animation to 50 frames. Um, I'll go down to the 10th frame in my blade layer and hit the F6 key to make a new keyframe. Um, and then what I can do is on this first keyframe, I'm going to actually take the blade and shrink it. So I'm just going to shrink this down to a little uh, ball. Take this whole guy. Oops. I'm going to zoom in here. And I'm going to take this whole movie clip and hide it uh, behind the handle there. Okay. So um, let's see. Maybe I'll move it just a little bit closer to the end. Cool. All right, so now what we'll do is we're just going to use classic tweens here. So classic tween is going to take that and make it look like it's bursting out of the handle, right? If I run a preview on that, you see what that looks like. Now, a lightsaber, we all know, kind of flickers, okay? So what we need to do is make this movie clip uh, flicker. So we're going to double click on this lightsaber graphic. And all we're going to do is add a second keyframe here. We're going to go F6 and add a second keyframe to the blade movie clip. And when you have it selected, you really just want to make it a slight bit smaller on that second frame. So let's see. Or we could go bigger too. Let's see. There we go. So slight, I went with a slight bit bigger. All right, so it goes from here to there. You can see it's going to flicker like that when we play it. Okay, so. Let's run it again, and there you go. You kind of have that jumping going on, the jumping glow. All right, now last thing we're going to do is we're going to apply some, uh, some more classic tweens to this and make it kind of fly around. So we'll select both uh, the top and bottom uh, layers in our timeline here and hit F6 to create a new keyframe on both. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on our free transform tool. And while we have both highlighted, and what you'll see here is um, this dot in the middle here that you can see. This is your anchor point. And so if we take that point and move it there, now it will rotate our blade around that point when we rotate. Otherwise, it will rotate it from the middle. Okay, so we want them both to act together. So basically, I'm going to swing this up in this position. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I want to wait to do that. All right, so right here, I want them to be there. Okay, then I have to go ahead, five frames, caught this. All right, and now I need those two frames here. So right here, it's straight still. And on this second set, now is when we're going to uh, pull this anchor point to the side, and then we'll rotate it once. All right, we'll go ahead in our animation another five frames. We'll hit F6 again. Um, we'll angle. We'll take our anchor point here. And maybe actually this time we'll bring it to the point on this side. And so we'll bring the blade back this way. And then we'll go to the 35th frame. We'll hit F6 again. Um, we'll bring our anchor point down to the lower part, the handle again and then we'll rotate this down as kind of like a downwards chop. And then we can go back in and add the classic tweens. So classic tweens is all we need to go with here. Um, no fancy motion tweens. All right, and now let's see how that plays. So the blade comes out, goes down, and then sits on the bottom. And there you have it. Simple animation of a lightsaber. I hope you have lots of luck with this. And, uh, you know, feel free to use your own creative license, use your own colors, add more things, maybe a character or uh, other things to the scene.